Welcome back to our Impressionist landscape. Can we all say Impressionism? Nice job. Impressionism is a style of artwork that has to do with the quality of light, the texture created by line, and certainly the overall impression of the scene on the artist. So we're going to pay special attention to color, texture, line, and light for this project. Now, you have all started to create the contour line drawing as the basis of your artwork. You will have a photo as inspiration. And notice I'm saying inspiration. I am not saying that you need to copy your photo exactly. However, I did choose photos that I thought had great line, color, shape, texture, um, and a great impression of light. So now that we've practiced some of our oil pastel techniques, I'm going to show you how we're going to go about applying it to our artwork. So I'm going to pick, I believe, the front of the artwork now, uh, since I have some flowers that I didn't make yet on here, and I have a lot of different color greens, yellows. Uh, so I'm going to take just like a group of uh, oil pastel that I think would really work. Maybe I'm going to do some blue too, and maybe some brown because of the color in the foreground of the artwork. Can you all say foreground? Nice job. The foreground, remember, is the front of the artwork, the part closest to us. I'm going to work controlling my oil pastel and transferring this color and trying to create it or recreate it on the bottom here. You have a lot of choices for your oil pastel technique. So for example, if I want to do broken color, right, I, for this part of my artwork, this section, I might color in blocks of color, right, with my green first. And I would like you to choose at least two of the techniques that we've learned about. Right? So we've learned about a few, blending, feathering, uh, stippling, broken color, uh, layering and scraffito, and there's really a lot of different options. So I actually might do some of this, the broken color, where I also layer this blue on top to start to get this darker color. I might even go in with a little black over here because there is kind of a darker shadow. But I can even combine my techniques, right? So I'm going to, again, focus on this section of the artwork, and I'll check back with you when I'm finished. As you can see, I'm keeping going with my broken color in this one section. Right? I add black, brown, blue, and I'm starting to add light green because I notice it gets a little bit lighter as it comes even more towards the foreground. Right, so I'm being experimental with my colors, thinking of what colors are in my photo and how could I create them or match them on my physical artwork that I've created. Right, so keep going with this until you filled up all of your white space. At this point, I filled up this whole section of my artwork using the broken color technique. I combined black, blue, brown, green, light green, and yellow to create this section. I also went to grab a messy mat. Uh, we don't want to color on here on purpose, especially because the oil pastels will seep into the, into the paper and ruin it. But this is just to protect our tables so we don't get a lot of oil pastel on them and we can color right to the edge. For the rest of this part, I think I'm going to use the technique of feathering. Right. So remember, that is the short strokes that you're making the lines for. Again, I'm going to do more of this regular green color towards the bottom. I'm leaving some white space. Mm, I think I'm going to do this more of the yellow green, so I'm going to keep going here. But the point is to layer your colors. You can go in different directions. Oh no, I want light green. You can go in different directions to create movement and texture. 
and I'm notice I'm layering this too. I'm overlapping everything going on top of each other. I even might add in a little bit of blue down here where it becomes more of like a turquoise green. And I just keep laying right. I'm gonna check back with you when I finished this. Area. At this point, I've almost recreated my whole foreground. And the last thing I'm gonna do is add in the red flowers. A lot of you that have flowers, I mentioned to you that you don't need to draw every single petal, especially with pencil. So I'm going to make the general shape of them. And I have red, but now I'm looking at it, I think it might need a little bit of orange too. And I'm going to go in, connect maybe some of the flowers to what looks like a stem. But this is a very abstract artwork meaning it doesn't look like a photograph, right? None of the impressionist artwork that we looked at looked exactly like a photograph, right? It was their interpretation, their impression of exactly what was in front of them at that time, right? They could show their texture, they could show their lines, right? It doesn't have to be smooth or perfect, right? So it's open to your interpretation. Maybe I will do some petals, right? So it is up to you what two techniques or more that you would like to use on your artwork, I want you to pay special attention to, again, the colors that you're using, the lines that you're making, the texture that your lines are making, and then just the general impression of the light, especially in the sky. Good luck, you're gonna do a great job.